everyone knows that one of the big no-nos of Tai Chi is being double weighted. In other words, having equal amount of weight on each leg. And we want to avoid this as we do the form. We move from point four or the back leg to point two or the front leg and then back again. Passing through what would be 50-50. So whereas in Tai Chi we don't have this 50-50 point that we're being static at, with Zhan Zhuang, we find that we're there all the time. And we find that something very unusual begins to happen, is that things begin to empty out in the center and move to the left and right, until eventually there's a whole swath coming from the size of the head, down through the neck, down through the torso, that becomes empty and capable of conducting energy. So what I want to show today is that there is something to be gained by becoming aware of this 50-50 point. And that is that eventually, as your crown and as your wee yin, perineal area opens up, energies can be received from above, the Taoists call heaven energy or gravity, and energy from the earth rising up. And these energies can meet in generally one of three places along the central channel. The low Dantian, the middle Dantian, or the upper Dantian. So for our purposes today, we want to be aware of the middle Dantian, where these two energies will meet and make contact. And when they do, there can often be quite a spark, almost an electric sensation that occurs. Now, how does this apply to Tai Chi? If we can become aware as we pass through doing whatever movements we may be doing, if we can become aware of this exact 50-50 place and practice slow enough, something very unusual uh, may begin to happen for you. Most people think, oh, 50-50, I know where that is, it's right here. But believe it or not, the more you practice Tai Chi, the more you become aware of the root toward the back, either at 100% and zero or near, near that, or the root toward the front, 100% or zero or near that. We don't seem to have so much awareness of the absolute pure Zhong Ding, which occurs in every posture as we pass through 50-50. But as we pass through 50-50, if we can do it slow enough, and our energies above and below, the Bai Wei and the Wei Yin are open, an energy can come through the body. And this energy can often motivate us through the posture. So this is a kind of transformation, you could say, the energies of heaven and earth are passing through and present in every posture of Tai Chi. If you here, whatever, there, okay, even going back, there. So every posture in Tai Chi will have this opportunity when practicing extremely slowly to feel that this area above and below can be open. So if we did press, or we did push. And as the energy goes through your body, you may feel a little jolt, a little shaking. And this is only natural. Later, as we become more familiar with it, the energy can pass through unobstructed without having an outer effect on the body, as it usually does at the beginning. So Zanzuang is very useful to become aware of this pure central equilibrium and then practicing it in our Tai Chi form, moving very slowly and becoming aware of this 50-50 moment and the opening and an actual transformation that occurs as we go from yin to yang and back again. So this is 
kind of a hidden transformation that is occurring in Tai Chi. We're all aware of what is, where is Tai Chi. It's where the yang energy begins to become yin, or the yin energy begins to become yang. But this third energy, heaven and earth energy, goes right along with the origin of Tai Chi and the I Ching. <laughs>